Uh, I'll make a proper guide for Shadowlands on beta, but I'm not doing a pre patch because pre patch is just like a watered down beta. I don't know, but like for people who want to play AF on pre patch, um, I want to make a video for those guys. So, first of all, talents you take Inevitable Demise because it stacks up and it acts as dispel protection. It's a magic buff and uh, yeah, really good against purge classes. Also, it's the least globals used compared to Nightfall and Drain Soul. Um, and on top of that, Shadowy Embrace, which is what Drain Soul is mainly used for, doesn't come in until you level up a bit more. Nightfall costs you globals, and again, doesn't give you Shadowy Embrace, so you don't take that. Second row, Absolute Corruption, saves you globals because Corruption lasts longer. Um, that's the main reason why you take it, basically. And also, Corruption is really good damage-wise. Siphon Life, Global Usage, Wrath and Agony, less Corruption uptime, um, more Global Intensive. Big problem with F right now is managing globals, so running these two helps with that. Third row, Demon Skin, easy choice. Um, Dark Pact has a place sometimes, I guess, into burst comps, but honestly, Demon Skin is like so easy to use, it's passive, can't go wrong. Fourth row, you want to take Phantom Singularity because it's instant and it does a shit ton of damage. The healing on it is like a bit relevant. I think into some teams I might take Vile Taint, even though it costs a shard. Uh, against teams I know are gonna pillar a lot, just to, like poke them a bit more. But I think like 99% or even 100% of games you'll just take Phantom Singularity. Uh, fifth row, I don't think this one is worth it at all because How is just so good. The range on it is actually pretty big. It's 10 yards, but like it covers a pretty decent area. It's also off the GCD, uh, which makes it really useful to cast and kite with. I think you can take Coil into some comps as well, but overall how is like so insane, especially because you have port now. Uh, fifth row, actually sixth row, you take Grimoire Sacrifice. Reason for that is the pet actually dies instantly and uh, when you sack it, you don't have to deal with that problem. I also don't think Horn is that good or Dark Hauler just because of the upsides to these two talents just doesn't outweigh the downsides of your pet dying over and over. And another thing you can do which is really cool with Grimoire Sacrifice, which you could have done before but now you can do easily with Fell Domination, which is uh, a new spell added. You can ins oh, summon your pet with a 0.5 second cast. There's an interaction with Grimoire Sacrifice where you can CS someone, so I'm going to press spell lock down here. And if I summon a new pet, it'll be off cooldown. I can see us again. And then resack my pet, obviously, when it's off cooldown. So that interaction makes it um, makes criminal sacrifice really, really good. And uh, last row, do not take Soul Conduit in any circumstance. This thing is absolutely trash. You never spec it. I take Dark Soul, and I think you should take Dark Soul into a majority of teams, unless you're a uh Unless you're like fighting a mage or a team with a lot of purges, then you take Creeping Death because Dark Soul is now purgeable. And lastly, for talents, Rampant Afflictions is mandatory, Demon Arm is mandatory, unless you're fighting a caster, in which case you take Reflect. We're missing a, a talent right now, which um, we will get in Shadowlands called uh, Rapid Contagion, which increases your dot damage by 30% when it's up. But uh, for now, you take these three and you never deviate from it. I think the other talents are not really worth it, except maybe like Gateway Mastery if you're facing double melee or something like that, but you can still reflect the grip or something. New spells, not a lot got added I guess except for Exhaustion and Curse of Tongues, both are really good. Curse of Exhaustion is 50% which is actually insane for kiting melee. Tongues is pretty good but apparently it's nerfed to 15% in PvP against players. And uh, Curse of Weakness was added back, but it's really useless, and I would say you would only really use it against a warrior to slow down their rage regeneration, or generation. It's, yeah, it increases the time between their attacks, their wide swings, which is totally useless. But anyways, moving on. Fell Domination, we talked about that a little bit earlier. Really good for summoning a new pet, especially in synergy with Grimoire's Sacrifice. Um, what else? Okay, there's... The new big ability that was added is Malefic Rapture, and what that does is the more dots up 
you have, the more damage it does. So if you have three darts on someone, it's going to do like 1000 damage or something. And uh, it does damage to everyone in your line, regardless of range. So the PvP rotation is extremely simple. You literally just put your darts up on three targets. Like this. And then the rest of it is electric rapture spam until your shards are gone and uh, yeah that's basically it so yep that's how you play affliction in pre-patch DPS rotation is legit super easy and uh, kind of watered down I guess but you actually do damage now which is way way nicer than before the last thing traits um, I think Inevitable Demise is probably the best trait to stack and then after that you can go for Sudden Onset or uh, Wrecking Brilliance. Probably one Sudden Onset is good and then the rest Inevitable Demise. After that it doesn't really matter too much but um, Inevitable Demise and the talent stacks up. Uh, they're like two different buffs and so when you're at uh, let me show you my buff frames. So they stack up separately. And obviously, when you get to um, 50 stacks of each, you can do a massive suck, which is pretty good burst. Essences, essences. I have no idea what essences are best, actually, but uh, you definitely want to take Crucible of Flame Miner. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I think it's um, overtuned. This is a 1v1 I had. It was second in damage. So yeah, it's it's really good. I think ideally I would run Crucible, Breath, and Condensed Life Force if I had tier three as a miner, with just Conflict Major to survive. Crucible Major is busted also. Uh, I haven't tried that yet, but I don't really want to because it means I have to make a new bind that is eventually just going to be replaced in Shadowlands for Covenants. Stats I'm aiming for. Haste verse is best into melee because you don't die, so you don't die, and mastery is more damage than verse, so you'll take that into casters. Also, another cool trick with um with affliction in Shadowlands is if you spam agony someone, I think it ticks up faster. Someone was saying this earlier in chat. If you just let it tick normally, it goes up one by one, right? Like this slowly. But look at this. Look at this. If I agony and I spam it. And refresh it, it goes up like much faster. So if you're playing Writhe in Agony, the talent, then I can see that being good. Good damn it, Tony. This got a glad Drake. Reflected that, legendary. And then Ellie one shots him. 3 AMS. No, Destro is still good, Luciano. No Siphon Life? Nope. Global issues. They still want it in the game, yes. It will come with Shadowlands, I assume. If they if it doesn't come, affliction is horrible. So it better come. But it will. I'm sure. I'm working on a Shadowlands Affliction Lock Guide that um, I'll post up probably some point next week or in a few days on beta. And I'll be streaming a shit ton of beta starting now as well. It's gonna be on my YouTube if you wanna check it out. 